goes on the air uh, February 6th. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a satire, oh. our satire, comedy, music, good show. But it must be incredible, both performing. I mean, it's a, it's a, a pretty rough hassle just to do a... Well, that's why the two of us, he writes... Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are originally from the East, aren't you? Uh, New York. Yeah. And have had, because of the show, I understand, the move to uh, the West Coast is living... Um, very different in California than... Uh, you find it much different? Well, I can't get used to it. I always forget the day you're supposed to take out the trash. You know? <laughs> <laughs> keep that straight. And uh, see, in New York, I just threw it out the window. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I miss my mugger very much. You what? My mugger. A little lady used to take away the money in the oh, pocket. Every night. Bank, right. <laughs> Fact, I'm bringing her out here. She's going to hit me on the head every Thursday night just to make me feel at home. Oh, well, uh... But living in a big city has a lot of problems. What kind of problems? Oh, it just has problems, and there are a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of problems? Uh, give me for instance. Well, for instance, living in a big city is a problem. Like owning a pet in a big city is a problem. That's a problem? Yeah, it is a problem. Why is it a problem? Well, it's a problem because you've got to take the pet everywhere you go. <laughs> so why can't you take the pet everywhere you go? Well, you can't suppose you want to walk into a bar with a pet. I mean, you know, like, you can't do that. You just take the pet into the bar. You think it's easy? Of course. Look, why don't you, you be a bartender, All right. and I'll be a customer. All right. You're <laughs> You're going to come in with a pet. I'll come in with a pet. I'm the bartender. Yeah, it's All easy. Right. All right. I'll come in with a pet. We'll see how easy it is. I'm the bartender, right? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a rhinoceros? No, that's a hippopotamus. So a rhinoceros has a horn growing out of its head. The hippopotamus is smooth to go. What, are you out of your mind bringing a hippopotamus into a bar? <laughs> well, I didn't see any signs, no pets. Ah, we don't have pets. I mean, uh, guys come in here with dogs, the weird ones with uh, poodles, but uh, nobody ever came in here with a uh, hippopotamus before. Oh, you don't have to be afraid. So just lean over the bar and make friends. Gonna bite? No. This thing bites me, I'm gonna have a lawsuit in your hands, buddy. Shake! <laughs> That's affection. Uh, can I have a scotch in the rocks for the twist? Oh, what is that, a male or a female? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? A uh, Harry. Uh, 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 no, it's Scotch. Oh, you want to make him sit? This is a neighborhood barn. Sit, Harry! Sit! A scotch on the rocks. <laughs> and a twist of lemon. And a triple Shirley Temple. You ain't drinking scotch and Shirley Temple in my bar, buddy. No, no, the Shirley Temple's for Harry. He don't like scotch. Oh, I'll put in a big champagne bucket. Champagne bucket, Harry? Festum! <laughs> How did you ever get to have a hippopotamus, if I may ask? You know everyone asked me that? No. Uh, yeah. I'm a milkman. I was going to work one day, and I stepped off my porch into something soft. Oh, yeah, dog, I stepped in a little soft. And it was Harry. Oh, Harry, he was the cutest little thing. 240 pounds in a wicker basket. I drug him into the house. I put him on the couch. I called my wife, Vera. She was upstairs asleep at the time. I said, hey, Vera, what do you think I got here? She says, a rhinoceros. I said, no, a rhinoceros is a horn dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smooth dog. It's a very common error. People make that all the time. She yeah. come walking down the stairs in a broken slipper and a negligee. Yeah. She took one look at Harry, and she says to me, call the ASPCA. Get rid of him. I says to her, Harry's my pet, and I'm going to keep him. Yeah, well, you've got to be uh, firm, firm with women, you know what I mean? Well, there it is. Would you like to give it to him? Oh, <laughs> drink. No, you got to tell him with authority. Drink Shirley Temple! Boy, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> he really liked it. <laughs> hey, hey, can I pet him? No, 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 you can't pet a hippo. Oh, no? you got to show him love. you got to show him care. Huh? you got to show him that you care. I love you, sweetie. <laughs> Honey, baby. Oh, see if you get him in the eye. He loves that. <laughs> 
So uh, she let you keep him, huh? Oh, well, yeah, everything went great for about three weeks. Yeah. And then one day I was teaching him to play fetch in the living room, and he knocked the piano right through the window. Oh, she must have been mad, huh? She was playing it at the time. <laughs> she come walking back into the house covered with glass and grass and ivory. Yeah. She says to me, either he goes or I go. You ever try living with two hippos? Uh, I, ain't, I ain't married, you know. Well, it's impossible. Yeah, I can see. So Harry and I took our own little place, and we've been happy ever since. I mean, well, what are you doing? Company comes. You put him on a fire escape or something? Oh, he loves company. Watch this. Party, Harry! Robe! Rigid! See the way his four legs are straight up in the air? <laughs> well, I got this board I put over his legs, cover with a table bar. <laughs> hey, table. Uh, hey, see his head? Mouth open. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Instant garbage disposal. Hey, would the beast like some garbage? Garbage, Harry? Oh, look in the way is little tail. <laughs> hey, what kind of garbage you got? Oh, I got some old potato salad. Oh, potato salad, Harry. Cigarette butts? Cigarette butts, Harry. Oh, you want the ashtray? It's got a crack in it. Yeah, throw it in. <laughs> chew, 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 you little devil. Uh, lemon peel? No citrus. Up, <laughs> oh, Harry, and say thank you. I know, it's all right. Sorry. Uh, tell me, you plan to meet him? Harry's going to be a papa for the eighth time this year. Oh, congrats, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sweetest little wife. She lives in the Bronx Zoo. Her name's Margaret. <gasps> Down, Harry! Tell <laughs> <laughs> me something, Mom. What do you call them when they're small? Uh, puppies? No, no, hippies. Oh, <laughs> Maybe you'd like one. Well, I know they must be able on X. They do. Oh, my God! Oh, no! Stop, Harry! How are you stopping? Oh, give me that newspaper. Give me that newspaper, Harry! Head down, Harry! You bad hippie! Bad! You're always embarrassing me. I can't take you anywhere. You wait for me outside. You got a mop and mop. You better get you a mop and The port is coming, and he'll get it. Well, look, here's five dollars. Take out for the drinks and give the port of the rest. I'm sorry. I don't mind if you bring him in here. You should check him out first. You know what I mean? Oh, Harry's never done anything like this before. He's housebroken. Yeah, I see his housebroken. And he yeah. listens to me. Just look at the way he's waiting for me out oh, here. Oh, Just... no. <laughs> oh, what happened? You know that motorcycle that was parked outside, that policeman's motorcycle? Yeah. Harry just buried it. Oh. <laughs> that cop will kill me when he finds out. He already knows. He does? <laughs> he was 